today I'm going to show you how to use this, the cheapest bed liner that they sell that I know of from Harbor Freight. Make it look like this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is clean all the garbage out of the bed of your truck and start prepping it for paint. So scrape all the flaky, rusty crap out of there, clean all the sand out, take your annoying spare tire carrier out, and get anything else out that you don't want painted. And then you're going to just want to take a nice look at it. Alright, quit looking at it and get back to work. Next, you're going to want to get your pressure washer out. You're going to want to rebuild the carburetor on it because it won't start and then when you do get it started pressure wash it and notice how close i have the tip of that pressure washer to it i'm trying to blast off any loose flaky paint anything else get all the mud and dirt and sand and everything else out of there last thing you want is for your brand new bed liner to not stick to it or to have sand and crap all in there so do your best to clean it and you're probably going to want to wear a bathing suit or something you don't mind getting wet because I got soaking wet doing this then after you're done with that you're just gonna want to take another nice long look at it look at those slow motion water droplets falling off the tailgate isn't that fancy Wow it's nice and clean now it's wet real real fancy like all the dents and everything yep that's a bed rail Ooh, that's a lot of rust. Mm. All right, so it's dry now, and there's still some stuff, like, if you look closely, it picks off real easy there. Whatever coating the previous owner put on this, it did not stick. So it's just pulling off everywhere. So I'm gonna hit it with this. Hopefully that'll at least knock off all the loose stuff. I'll try to grind out a little bit of this rust, a little bit of that stuff, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit better. And then I'm gonna take some, some, uh, I guess like a silicone filler stuff and just go around these cracks. I know it's not the right way to fix it, but I'm not getting into all the body work on this thing. I just want it to look decent and hold up. It'll hold up for a long time. That worked pretty good. I got, I mean, I didn't take it down to the metal. I didn't feel like it was necessary, but it took all the flaky stuff off and gave it a nice rough texture. I think it'll bond to pretty well. So now I'm gonna take this stuff here. It's just like a black silicone type stuff. And I'm gonna just fill these gaps yeah, I know it's not the right way to do it, and I should cut the metal out and all that, but this is pretty much a woods truck, and I just want it to look better. I think it'll be fine for a long time. Next, just take that caulking or body seam filler or whatever it is you got laying around, silicone, it don't matter. Fill in all those rust holes, all the dents, all the ugly spots that you don't want nobody to see and take that lacquer thinner and just smooth it out as best as you can and it'll be good enough for who it's for. Next thing's just tape it up. I'm putting it right under that lip there, going around like that. Anything you don't want texture on. And I'm just gonna mask it off with this painter's plastic. Then I'm gonna drape a big piece over the cab and front end. That stuff goes everywhere, so you wanna tape it up pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna use to spray this, this is a drywall hopper. You can pick these up just about anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, I think Harper Freight even sells them. They look a little different, but they do the same thing. It's just a paint gun, but it's got a really big hole in it so it sprays a texture so I'm just gonna dump that in there straight not gonna mix it or cut it with anything uh, the thicker it is the better so with this gun it'll it'll spray really thick paint so it's thick like tar stir this up a little bit 
been sitting for a while. That's why the lid's all rusty. I think it's fine. Doesn't feel like it's separated. That just dump this right in here. Another nice thing about this drywall hopper, it holds the whole gallon. Alright, well it's all taped up, ready to go. If the wind will hold off for a few minutes and doesn't blow this off. Um, as far as spraying this stuff, you just want to use a high pressure and don't give it like all the, all the beans. Just give it like half throttle basically with the trigger here if you pull it fully it'll give it like a real heavy texture if you or if you use a low pressure it'll give you a really heavy texture so if you want like that fine texture i'm trying to sort of match that you're going for higher pressure and less volume of material Another tip would be get a bigger compressor than that. My other one, the belt broke on it, so stuck using that, but it keeps cutting out halfway. It's putting on a decent texture. It's just, uh, I got to wait on it to air up. It'll just take a little longer is all. You're going to want to start at the front of the bed so that way you're not stepping in your wet paint and it's a lot easier to work from the front of the bed towards the back and then once you get to a certain point just get out of it and spray all your edges from the outside i found that's pretty much the easiest way to work around it and you're definitely going to want to wait for the windiest day ever to spray this stuff so it can be pulling your plastic off the truck and over spraying all over your house and car and everything else so yeah if you got a nice day to do it don't do it wait for a nice windy day for the best results you might even want to wait for a hurricane you could probably even get it on your neighbor's house and neighbor's car i'm sure they'd really appreciate it maybe they have a nice brand new white mercedes that they'd like some black bed liner on for the cleanup what i do is i take the garden hose and blast out as much of the material as i can with the hose and then take the lacquer thinner and clean the rest out you end up using most of a gallon of the lacquer thinner but it is what it is pull your tape and plastic off and then just take a nice long look at it wow fancy Ooh. Ah. it almost looks almost kind of like a hack didn't do it looks a lot better than a roller anyway Ooh, those nice corners, nice crisp and clean, no more rust holes, can't see all the dents anymore, yeah, the tailgate even works better now, ooh, would you look at that, enjoy it, because that's the best it'll ever look, it's all downhill from here. That's all there is to it. It's all done. Just let it dry. The stuff actually dries really quick. It'll probably be ready to use. And I mean, it's already dry. It's only been like 15 minutes. It's a little tacky still, but it's pretty much sitting in the full sun. It'll be dry here in a few minutes. But um, yeah, that hopper is like the key to making it look like a professional job. And that's the cheapest bed liner you could buy. It's from Harbor Freight. I think it's. It, I don't know what it is now it used to be like 50 something dollars a can which i mean with these results it looks pretty good i think for for the price it's a lot better than three or four hundred bucks for raptor liner but if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you really liked it subscribe i'd really appreciate it